so you already know about virtual labs right Indrapit already explained what are virtual labs so virtual labs are remote triggered projects so we all do experiments we do labs we do uh, practicals we record data we plot data so this entire setup can be moved to a virtual place a different place server okay so that it can be centralized and many people can access it so this project named as creating generalized web based solution for remote figure virtual labs so this doesn't exist now so we have to prepare such project so we have virtual labs but it, it is not a web based one it's a desktop one so i will explain to that so let me show you straight away a simple block diagram so at the left hand side we have SBHS. So SBHS is one of the virtual lab experiment experiment kit. Okay. So SBHS stands for single board heater system. So this is at the server's end. So this is the central location. This not this is not available to all students at their home at their lab. This is some assume for now. This is available only in IIT exclusively in IIT. A student in West Bengal want to do experiments using SBHS. So the present setup. This is the present setup. What it does. So this is a client computer. This is a student who is sitting in West Bengal. This is his computer. This is a server which is located in our IIT lab. And that server adjacent to the servers, we have all these SBHS blocks connected. So SBHS blocks look like one of these. So it's approximately of this size, and it has this uh, power supply, uh, heater system, and etc. This hardware anyway. We'll come to know. So at the client side, for now, user has to have a Linux machine, a Python-based client, a web browser, and Scilab installed. So these are mandatory requirement. I think it also works on Windows, but I'm not very sure. We have seen mostly on Linux side. So these many requirements are actually uh, too much ask for a student to have. So nowadays, students may not have a regular desktop. They will be moving around with their cell phones. They may not have a access to a regular console where they can log in and do all such kind of experiments. If they would have, they would easily go to their lab and do such experiments by themselves. So the whole idea is to move this entire setup, means on the client hand setup, to web based. So completely independent of desktop applications. So you can see, as of now, it requires Scilab to be installed on client machine. Python to be installed on client machine. So these dependencies you want to remove. Okay, let me give you a small brief idea how, how it works now. So student log into the server. It's a web interface. They go to www.vlabs.iitv.ac.in. They log in. They have a username password. They create a login. They book a slot. So the number of experiments, number of such boards, SBHS boards, are limited. It's not that all the students can be provided each board at a time. So you have to book a slot in advance. So once you book a slot, you get a time time slot, one hour time slot, say 2 to 3 p.m. You log in, you, you stay alive, of course. You stay alive with your computer during that time slot. And you enter the values. So how do you enter the values? Now from the web interface, that's our final target. That's our final goal. It should be entirely from web interface. From now, at present, you have to fire a, another application, a Python-based client. It's a small GUI window where you have to again log in and input the values. Okay, that's not end of it. You have to again run an application Scilab. Okay, so this invoking the Scilab, you have to run some scripts. Then you can enter the values of. So for single board heater system, you have to enter the value of fan and maybe heater, and you have to say pass to server. So this Scilab interface will communicate to the server, this server at IIT. That will read the data present in the SBHS, which is assigned to you. And then it will change the value of speed, speed of fan, and speed of heater, etc. In return, it will return you the temperature. The temperature you will receive in Scilab again. That will do the plotting at the client end. So for all of this, you need a working system with Scilab and everything running. You need constant internet also. Of course, you need internet in other solution. So let me get back to this. So what exactly we want in this setup? As you can read, we want the access to be completely moved to the 
web browser. No need of any Python client, no need of any Scilab on the client machine. Configure input and outputs depending on the experiment. So the present configuration are done through the Scilab interface, which we want again to be moved on. Browser. Read and write files, and of course, this is related to the second point. See and download data, data and plots. See live feed of the setup hardware via webcam. So the webcam is still available, but it's not integrated in the web page. You have to integrate it in the web page. Store algorithms on the server as you have the login. So whatever code you have written, there should be an option to nicely organize them and save it on the web page, website. And of course, you can choose from the existing database. So for admin, for people like us or you in your college, so for the admin interface, we need following changes. So the present setup, it's actually not very easy to replicate in some other college because we have a lot of scripts, a lot of database changes, a lot of integration need to be done before to move to other college. So we all we need a single, single click setup for all of these tools. Uh, configure inputs and output depending on the hardware. So these listings are actually for the admin interface. The admin interface looks like this. So this is an admin interface where we have list of boards on the left hand side, the status of the board, whether it's offline or online. So red is offline, and green is online. So webcam and some other temperature profiles. So this interface need to be modified. Okay, this is for admin, not for student. I think that's all for this project. Of course, you need to run and deploy the server easily and admin should easily be able to debug the code. Everything should be under version control. The code should be easily manageable. I hope you got a clear idea of what is a virtual labs and what is SBHS and how we are accessing it. Just remember this block diagram. So let me show you this block diagram so that the question occurred to you. So these are the technologies we are looking for. So the server, the present server is already written in Django. So you need to add on this present server. And we prefer Django, that means Python, because it's already written. It's easy for you to add code on that. Bash is a Linux command line tool. You may or may not know Bash already. That's fine. You can skip Bash for now. HTML, CSS, MySQL, and Apache are required. Apache is also not very mandatory for now because Apache server setup, etc. we can help you with that. MySQL database queries and all are must because you will be dealing them in and out. HTML, I guess it's need not to explain. So Bash and Apache, you may say it's not mandatory. So this is the second, second project. So the first project was moving the client side entirely to browser end, right? Clear, the first project moving the client side of the SBHS of the virtual labs to browser, removing Scilab and Python dependencies from the client side, and improving the admin interface of the server. First project. This is the second project. The second project is improving the already available architecture uh, implementation. So we already have SBHS running. As Indrabit told, we have already a uh, course running with students. They log in and they create some experiments. So we need to modify those courses, those interfaces. This is the same architecture, same example. So what we are looking for in this. So the present architecture, present setup cannot detect failures. So suppose we have 38 SBHs. So at, at some time, at in the night, suppose one of the SBHs goes down and there is an experiment setup scheduled tomorrow morning 8 a.m. So it doesn't automatically detect that and doesn't inform to the admin. So such things you have to take care. You have to add such modules, such APIs to the already existing Django code. Providing periodic health statistics, same as first. And the third one is enabling client to conditionally choose an SBHS. Suppose during an experiment, one of the SBHS failed. And at present, a client has to contact admin and tell that, see, my SBHS has fa failed. Please assign me a new SBHS, new virtual setup. This should be automated. So student, if a machine fails, should automatically be switched to a working machine. So again, there are some to-do list for the web, uh, sorry, admin interface. 
So admin should be able to do web-based changes. So if everything is moved to web, so he would the web interface requires the following changes. He should see all the SBHS setup, and he should see he could means he can analyze the statistics, the health of all SBHS unit over the past month, past year. So he can have the complete tabular data or a statistical data which shows okay SBHS 38 has been faulty for three days in the last month. So you can actually he could actually be able to diagnose how the trend is going on, how many SBHS are failing, which experiment is causing the problem, which experiment is good. All the statistics need to be generated and presented nicely on the admin interface. This one is the last. So packaging, as I told in the previous experiment also, we need a single one-click installation. At present, the installation is complex, so that your job would be to make the setup files integrated into one single Python script, so that one can do just pip install SBHS, and it's done. Live webcam feed, checking client inactivity during webcam feed. Okay, this can be discussed later. So last one is important. This is the last slide, I guess. So adding quiz and auto evaluation. So this SBHS is integrated with a course, right? Unless there is a course, why don't why do you run an SBHS? Because it's an experiment. It's an extension to the regular experiments. So we need to have a pre and post test quizzes right inside the SBHS web interface, virtual lab web interface, where after performing the lab experiment, student should able to take a test, should able to have questions and answer. All the answers could be, questions could be randomized. And there should be evaluation and reporting also for admin. So in short, we want to take away the lab session entirely to the web. So you understood the difference between the previous project and this project. The previous one was to remove Scilab and Python dependencies from the client side so that a client side should be just a simple web browser. You can take out your cell phone, connect to this some URL and perform your experiments from anywhere. The second project is actually the existing project existing project and adding improvements to an existing project. So the admin doesn't have many features, so you have to add many features, listed features to the admin console. The last one which I showed, there, there should be a question answer adding quiz to the existing uh, implementation so that students after finishing the lab could able to do a pre and post test. Is this clear? So all of these FOSSI slides which you have seen this eight, nine projects, they all based on open source tools, Linux tools. You may or may not be aware of all these Linux tools, right? It's okay, it's completely okay. Interns like you from past many years, they have come here and used such tools and they've learned them very fast, maybe one or two days. So tomorrow you have some orientation courses, right? So I'm very sure you will be able to take all of these topics maybe within two or three days. It's very easy, it's all you know, but in a different maybe operating system. Many other things can be done in Windows also, but we encourage you to use Linux so that it's, it is good for you also when you uh, go to some other places, maybe some startups or other companies, mostly they prefer Linux for such open source technologies. So for any queries regarding the presentations, the projects which we have displayed today, you can simply email at info at fossi.in. So this email will reach to all the uh, mentors who have presented today and your questions, queries will be answered. Thank you.